In this video, I'm going to share with you the most underrated money play that you can have out of the gun bunch. I don't think there's anyone that I've seen at a competitive level running this play, but I feel like it's really important to talk about because it is truly a very powerful concept. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. We upload offensive and defensive tips pretty much every single day. And in this video, we are in the New York Giants playbook. Now, the New York Giants playbook this is the only playbook that has this play in it. Um, and I actually just released a full ebook on another formation in the New York Giants offensive playbook out of the Trio Y Flex. Now, I personally believe that the Trio Y Flex is the best offense by far in this game. But the bunch is still one of the more popular offenses. And so I actually have an ebook on the Trio Y Flex. And I also have an ebook out on the Gun Bunch. And so if you want to get access to every ebook uh, that I've released, both on offense and on defense, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can join uh, the Patreon. The Patreon is just 10 bucks a month. For just ten dollars a month, you're going to unlock every single ebook, every offensive ebook, every defensive ebook that I've released so far this season. And guys, that's going to total at thirteen ebooks. So for just ten bucks, you're going to be able to get instant access to thirteen guides. I have eight offensive or uh, I have eight defensive ebooks, and I have five offensive ebooks with more on the way. While your subscription is active, you'll be able to get instant access to everything. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down the FL pivot. Now the FL pivot, I think is one of the most underrated concepts in the game. I'm gonna give you two reasons as to why. Um, and that is the first one is if you take a look at where we're at on the field, you see that it's got this really unique skinny post. It's also got this unique little C route. Okay. Now, uh, let's just run this against a standard cover four. I wanted you to look at the C route real quick. You're going to see that this C route really cuts very sharp, uh, to the outside, as you can see right there. So the beauty of this is we can kind of create a look at which can make this really, really advantageous for a couple of different reasons. So uh, because of this post, you're going to notice here that if I'm going to cover three defense, you're going to see, wow, I got super screamed at. That's what's, what's funny about that is in practice mode, you get super shedded. And what's even funnier is that guy's like a 62 overall because I don't want to get shedded like that bad. So uh, anyway, there you go. But um, anyway, let's just show you the C route against cover three, you're going to see that the cover three is not going to cover it. So it gets open is what I'm getting at. Okay. Now, the other thing that's really cool is this post route. So uh, we're going to kind of cover both routes here. Um, there's two different setups that I want to show you, but just to start, we're going to go with this. Um, and I just want you to see this uh, R1 post. So what you'll see about this post route is the cover three, um, he'll get deep enough to guard it, as you can see right there. But in the cover four will as well. So like if I were to run this against cover four, the outside quarter zone is going to get over there. But of course, the cool part about it is that they're not going to be able to cover the C route and the post. You're going to have one of them open. As you can see, they're bailing from the C route and they're they're um, going to guard the post. OK, but in the example of a cover two, uh, which is pretty much the most called defense in this game. What you're going to notice is even if I take this guy and I put him into a deep middle third, so I'm actually running like a cover three or a traditional Tampa two style defense, what you should see here is this R1 receiver is going to get open on the sideline kind of right in front of the deep path, okay? Now, what makes this even more important is the two setups I wanted to show you. So the first setup is a simple high low it's where we're really going to try to essentially um you know do a really good job of getting a high low read so all you're going to do is you're going to streak uh evans as you can see right here and then from there what i like to do with this play is i actually like to go ahead and um i'll typically block my tight end and then for you know you can kind of do whatever you want but my personal opinion i think this is a very good way to run this play um, essentially what I'll do is I'll run it. I'll put the running back on a little, uh, little check and or a little in route as you can see. And then I've got a curl. 
This is one of my favorite ways to run this play. Another way to run this play is I could take the running back and put him on an out route, and then I could take Brown and put him on an in route. So you see here, this is what it looks like if I were to do that. So those are two ways to essentially create the same thing. And uh, what you're going to notice here is we're at the 20-yard line, okay? 30 yards to the 50, and then after that, we're going to be going up by 10 each time. So I want you to watch where this is going to get to on the field. You're going to see that this post will get all the way to the 30-yard line. So this is a 50-yard dot over the top. What's really cool about this in terms of what it does specifically to uh, really any coverage, but when you couple it with this fade uh, to, the, to the square receiver or streak, what you'll see is it gives him more space and the zone drops can't get there, okay? That time the quarter zone actually played it fairly a lot better than he probably has ever played it in testing. But let me show you this out of cover three. So um, let's say, for example, that they're putting their flats on 30. Their flats are going to drop back to about the 50-yard line, okay? Um, but what you're going to see is with this setup here, this post is going to run to, again, the 30-yard line. So you see how deep that gets? That's a 50-yard dot. So it's going to get over the top of 30-yard clouds, whether the 30-yard cloud is coming from the safety out of a cover three or it's coming from the uh, outside cloud flat against cover two. Okay, so you see here it looks like this. And as long as we get enough time here, you should see pass lead straight up into the outside. And you see that right there. You've got that dot. So... Um, that's kind of the first uh, little way that I like to run this play. Very, very good way. The, uh, the next way that I like to run this play is um, a little bit more of kind of a shot play. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to streak circle. We're going to motion him to the left side. And then what I like to do is go ahead and leave this running back on his route or put him on an option route, okay? And this is a little bit more of a vertical style approach, really high, um, you know, we're really trying to work the C route into it. And the reason why we're trying to work the C route into it is because if they're coming out, and let's say, for example, they're running, um, they're running cover three Mabel, um, you know, if they're running that with 30 yard cloud flats, this C route should get underneath that for a, a decent, uh, to a degree. And then you've also got, you've also still got your deep route to be able to pull the zones back. So, uh, it's kind of a, you kill two birds with one stone and you've got this little motioned over, uh, seam streak. So you read your seam streak. That's not there. You look to your C route there. We probably had it, but then if you keep waiting, you're going to see that that's going to get even deeper it's going to get even a couple yards deeper so um those are kind of the two setups that i really really like out of this play i wanted to just really quickly point out please don't sleep on the c route out of this formation most people do this c route is really tough it really is you see there i mean it's really good um you know i could do something like this where i if i wanted to go with a five out setup i'd probably run this setup right here so I've got that tight end flat, then I've got this little whip right here, then on the back side I've got these two really high, high uh, profile routes. That time I didn't get it open. Um, but guys, this post route is really, really tough to guard. Another quick setup for you, um, if you're looking for, um, you know, just you just want to try something else. This pivot route, when you motion this to the left, it's not going to change. So you see this. So he's going to actually go on the pivot now. As a little check down, so that might hold the, that's going to help hold the user so that we can get this route over the top. But the bottom line is, this is the best post route out of bunch in the game um, in terms of a route that is going to get over the top of 30 yard clouds. This right here is by far the best route. And you know, you can, you know, don't be afraid to, if, if they're giving you the, if they're giving you the defensive look to be able to put five out, put five out, run a curl flat concept, um, run a simple curl flat on that side, or run like a, uh, one of my favorite plays is like this where I have a little little smart route a dig route in combination with this little flat And then as you can see here, uh, you still have uh, This route to God one on the sideline. So thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn um, The rest of this offense guys. I have this I've also got um, Like I said, I've got a full bunch ebook that bunch ebook will cover every bunch in the game It doesn't just cover uh, like Seattle bunch. It covers every single bunch Every single playbook that has bunch 
whatever the money plays are, we're going to break them down for you. And the cool part about this is you can compi- you can combine um, this bunch offense with the Trio Y Flex, which I just released, which I think it is by far the most powerful offense in the game. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to get access to everything for just $10 a month, be sure to join the Patreon There's a link down in the description below where you can join that. Again, you can cancel whenever you want, but as soon as you join that, you're going to get instant access to 13 eBooks, several exclusive tips, and you'll also be able to get access to any new eBook or new exclusive tip that I release while your subscription is active. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys over at the Patreon.